Marianne. Hi, Hello. Hi, everybody. This is me. This is me. Do you remember me? For those Americans out there, happy day before Thanksgiving. It's a family affair today. Yahoo! I'm going to get my laptop started. Hello. Hi. Can you guys read? Can you read it? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Hi. So Hi. this Hi. we often do can choose for macarons. That is um, um, a green, green. Yes, lime green. Blue, blue, light blue, and there is pink. So what, light pink. She's saying what color do you guys want to choose for the max today? She they chose either a sassy pink, hello, a royal blue, or lime green. Which one? I think I saw. Is that Amy and Heidi? Let's see. If I get this up first, we can see their comments longer. Okay. Lime green I see, but I see a pink above. Let me check the live stream and make sure this is off. Okay. So the first the first one that chose hi, yeah, it was Amy and Macaron. Christina's here. Hello, you guys. Let's see. Hi. That's a lot of people. I know. The first person to know what was Sassy Pink. We're going Sassy Pink today. And how about tomorrow? Well, tomorrow we're not having a live. But well, are we going to do each turn of the colors? Maybe. Maybe. But that would be us. Okay. So, I'm going to get gloves really fast. I attempted to, my daughter and I did our nails. And they were already chipped everywhere. Ooh. And that's why I don't usually do nails. Because... It chips into the food. You know, you need like a gel manicure or something fancy. A okay. So. Like we did these two days ago and a day after they were already awful. Hello. Are you reading? Okay, so we're doing Italian method today, you guys. And we have... We're doing it, so I did three months ago a live on the Italian method, and it had mixed review, um, results. My silicone mats did not work, but the Teflon and, you can put that down here for a second, the Teflon and the parchment had better results. So today we're, we're doing mostly silicone mats because I figured out that the silicone mat and the parchment um, and the air bake trays together. Oops, sorry, I. These bad boys together are a good combination for your Italian method. You okay, girlfriend? Yeah. So we're going to do those, and then we're also going to do. Um, <coughs> hello. <laughs> um, we're also going to do a sil uh, parchment if we have extra extra batter that is. So we're doing the same recipe as the recipe I did previously three months ago. So it was, it has like blue macarons on the the key photo if you guys want to check that out later. This is 150 grams of sugar, 38 grams of water in my pot. Um, do you want to pour this in carefully? Yeah. So you want to, yep, just pour it in, try not to get sugar on the sides. The sugar on the sides will crystallize as you are boiling your sugar and you can get a crystallized syrup. Um, some recipes even call for corn syrup or glucose, which is an inverted sugar, which will keep you from having that crystallization occur. Inverted sugars um, will slow down or um, decrease your chances for crystallized syrups. So if you have a problem with that, Maybe try taking off a little bit of your sucrose or your granulated sugar or caster sugar and then add some inverted sugar. Oh, what happened here? Can you, can you get them? One second. So we're gonna be doing this in the mixer though. So that's why we're gonna differ from the last Italian method. We're gonna cook our sugar syrup up to 120 Celsius and then we're going to mix till about 40 degrees Celsius. So. Oh, Zena's here. Hi, Zena. Hi, Zena. <laughs> Hi, Zena. <laughs> uh, we're going to mix our meringue per usual, about medium stiffness. And then instead of making our paste 
and then mixing our, our meringue into our paste, we are actually going to, um, like Victoria from the Victoria's, oh gosh, sweets, small sweets. Oh my goodness. If someone could put her handle down, I'm sure you guys know it. I always fumble on the handle. <laughs> Hi, Deborah. Um, so Hi, Deborah. She has actually this highlighted in her macaron uh, account on Instagram. If you guys have Instagram, you can check it out. And um, she does it, so we're gonna try it. And she gave me some tips with the French method when you guys saw two weeks ago with that one. So one has to inverted sugar, it's the same as corn syrup. Corn syrup, yes. Corn syrup is an inverted sugar, thank you. We got Wesley here today too. I'm so excited. Thank you, Christina, yes. Um, that is her and handle. And is my dada. <laughs> All right, so, sorry. We're gonna just whip this. Once this gets to about 108 Celsius, we'll start our, our egg whites. We want them to be foamy, frothy, frothy, and almost at a soft peak. And, and then we'll pour in this, we'll let it cool and whip, and then we will- Google Meats! Do, interesting, yellow. <laughs> and then we will do our cat mixing in here. Okay, so I did the, the smaller mixer again, hopefully, you guys can see, I'll move it closer once we're doing the pouring of the syrup, just so you guys can see what's happening in my bowl. Someone was really confused about the Italian meringue in general and wanted help with knowing when to put your syrup in, what your egg whites need to be. So we'll highlight that today. And then, do, um, do you wanna put, these are the powdered egg whites and 54 grams of egg white liquid with 55 grams in here. My son is gonna put this inside here. Yep, just put it in. We're gonna try this, yeah. We'll end up putting this into the mixer with right before it dries. I'm gonna mix it with a fork just so it doesn't clump. Can I do that? It doesn't smell good, right? It doesn't smell the good. egg white powder, sure, you gotta mix that. The egg white powder clumps up really easily and um, Ooh, 20. Yeah, just this part. Money. Can you do a little, but keep the fork touching 20, the bottom of the bowl so it doesn't flip Celsius. it up. Okay, 20 Celsius. Thank you, bud. My scientist. Yeah. Okay, and that we got joke. Sassy Pink too was the choice, so can I put that in too? Oh, I wanna We're going to put that and let it just mature in our egg whites I would, too. I would like to pour I'm going to do this one because this actually can cause a really big mess. Okay. Just gonna put like an eighth of a teaspoon, not much, into um, our egg whites. Wait, excuse me, can I mix it? Uh, one second. I don't want that to actually. So this is Sassy Pink Master Sh Master Leap. All right, guys, let's actually get started now. If we, can you we wanna mix put it? this on? Can you we feel mix comfortable it with yet? that? Can I mix it again? Uh, let me actually do that. Then. So I'm gonna put it I really on. Do. I know you do. I'm gonna put it on a low speed right now, <laughs> just because of just one second. Okay. Um, we want the sugar to dissolve, and then we'll turn it up. Like what happened if, to my marshmallows? I don't remember when we made marshmallows. What happened? Um. Oh, your um, marshmallows dissolved in your hot chocolate. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So we want our sugar to dissolve before we reach a boiling point of our water. Can I do it now? Just over here, put it down on the on the countertop and stir. So you and it, my that my brother's gonna do it. His name's Julian, and he's a seven-year-old, and he's gonna spin it up for my mom. Thanks, girlfriend. Yeah. So we have our sugar syrup on, you guys, and we just want to dissolve that sugar. So um, that, isn't the white things on? Isn't the white things uh, sugar? Can I do oh, that? in this, that's the egg white. So the, sure, white, so the white things are the sugar? Um, no, the white things are the egg white powder. It clumped up. So what's that? Okay. Just, that's good. Just let it sit for a while. I want to mix it. Mm -hmm. I kind of messed it up, to be honest. Not you, me. I should have just put the egg white powder in. Okay, so we are dissolving our 
sugar syrup, just leave that. Okay. Kind of looks like a mess in there. Hello. Um, I need to get my laptop. So. Oh, I want a sink that's dangerous. Yeah. Oh. I'm just, at this point, Ayla, the reason why I had this out was just to kind of scrape the bottom of my bowl and make sure that I'm not having any sugar just sit at the bottom of the bowl. You want to just dissolve that sugar, but not stir it. Okay, you guys want to head out? Or are you guys good? We're good. Okay, then you got to stay calm, all right, so we don't disturb anyone. Okay, that's good. We don't want to scratch the bottom too much because of this on the bottom of this coating can ruin our pan. Our pan. Okay, I'm going to have to take these bad boys off because I can't the egg white powder I put in to the sitting egg whites that we're going to add. Like if you were doing this normally, you would make a paste, right? With our dries. And instead we're going to add, after our meringue is done, we're gonna add this just into our finished meringue. Can you stop? I wanna do that. Ewan, just wait for a second while I explain things. I'm not doing anything right now. Okay, um, so we are going to, we just put the egg whites into here. So you can see the like, clumpy into our color and our sitting egg whites. And nothing is going on in our mixer right now. Your Macs are hollow. Let me check my iPad so I can actually um, see what's going on with your guys' questions since while we're waiting. Here you go, Mom. Thank you, bug. Your iPad. Okay. Computer, Apple. So we're gonna turn it up to about a three to dissolve that sugar. We don't wanna take too long. Okay. Pink. Hi from Miami. Yes, her lazy Italian macarons. I didn't know if someone would take offense to the lazy Italian method title. So I haven't been calling it that. Can you not touch it for me? Thanks, yes, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> um, thank you. This apron was a gift from a chef friend. Um, and A long time ago? No. From, is, am I frozen on your guys's? Or did you and freeze mine? Okay. Um, and I love it. It's my favorite apron. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, so Quan, I think you said it, uh, your Macs are hollow and you might need to press more out. Uh, I've actually heard mixing a little bit less and under mixing can also help. So it's really a balance of finding your oven temperature too. I feel like being able to let that meringue rise all the way up to the top in your oven is the key to getting that full macaron. So. Let's see here. Yep, there we go. Majestical Macarons said the same thing. Zena. Okay, so you guys are gonna have to stay still if you're gonna be in here. Helped. It's the day before Thanksgiving. Okay. You guys are so helpful to one another. I love that. All right. So we've got our dry. Don't touch it, okay, Ben? Okay. Our dries are here, sifted already. 150 almond flour, 150 confectioner sugar. Okay. And. Can I turn it off, Mom? What? No, we don't need it. We want to get it really nice and bubbly. bubbly. I got a little color into my syrup, so, with my gloves. So, it's starting to bubble on the sides. I'm going to pull you guys in, or Wesley's going to bring you guys closer. So we've got, That's my dad. once it starts to really bubble, you don't want to play with it too much. But I'm just trying to make sure we don't have too much sugar on the bottom there. It's looking good, it's dissolving. You can also get a pastry brush and wipe down the sides of the, the bowl. I don't wanna do that. No thanks. This is actually kind of, it's scary because I don't want you to burn yourself, okay? Oh. So you get like a mildly wet brush and just wipe the sides down. 
just so you don't get those, because you know how the sugar just kind of like pops up Aye. while it starts to boil in the very beginning, and then you can just brush, brush the side off and clean it up. And now we are starting to boil. When you start to boil, you know that you're at about, um, what is it, 100 Celsius is boiling point, or 212 Fahrenheit. So I know I'm gonna start to use, start whipping my egg whites really soon. Can I whip the egg whites? If you wanna put it on stir, you may. Okay, stir. Mm -hmm. Right now? Yep. Mm -hmm. Thank you for watching them. I can't see from, I'm too far away, but my maps are Hi. lopsided. Hi. Um, how are the egg whites? So having lopsided macarons can be a multitude of things. It could be bad oven flow, it could be poor macaronage, and it could be that um, along with bad oven flow, you could be piping your macarons too close or not resting long enough or resting too long. So it's something that you can um, eliminate those by changing one thing each time. So I'm gonna turn it up. You wanna turn it to a four? And I'm going to see where we're at here. Mommy wants to put it on higher. We're at 112 or 113, put it up to a six. We're looking for 120 Celsius. And I will I will come back and answer your questions when the mixer is not on. Tell me when to go by. You're good for now. That's perfect. We just want to mix it up to a 13, nice frosting. 12, 111, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, yeah. Remember last high. time we did the flower on the air or something? It was like this. Don't whip, don't uh, put flour into your into your batters and then put it on a high speed. That's my tip of the day. I think it's done, Mom. I left. It's at 114, 115. We're good. Thank you. Will, yeah. you. will you turn it off when I say so? But nope, that's not yet. So we're nice and frothy, or white, um, egg white. You can't see any liquid down there. I'll show you guys in a second. And we're almost at... We're at... Yeah, good job. We're at 117. If you feel like your, your egg whites are getting too stiff, just one second, I'm talking. Um, then, then you can just turn your mixer down and let it chill out for a little while. You don't have to worry too much about those egg whites. I used to stress about them being at the right, exactly where I want them. Just make sure they're nice and foamy. We're at 116 still. I'm gonna have a hot sugar syrup island, so I'm gonna need you not to play around, okay? Can you go higher or lower? I don't need you to do anything at this point. We're at 119, 121 over there. So the sugar syrup says 120. It says 123 in some spots. So I'm gonna turn this all the way up high and carefully stream it down the side.
this is super hot, okay? So don't lean it over. So now we're just gonna whip on a for like a minute or so on eight, and then we're going to bring it down to a six, and hopefully my mac my mixer doesn't break. I don't know what's going on. My stainless steel um, pan. Again, this is the egg whites with the color, and then I put powdered egg whites in it too. Yeah, be safe, right? Um, this is scary. I am a little bit. I'm a little bit nervous that the way that my um, be really careful. My burner heated up my sugar syrup. It got really hot on one side of my of my pot. So hopefully we didn't go too far. I already bring it up to a 120 Celsius where it's like a range between 118 and 120 and you find out what works best for you with your recipe. And I like 120. I'm gonna go over there now. I can't Can really I go get potty? Yeah, go potty. Can I try to come back? Wash your hands. Okay, now I can get to my... 1 a.m. Salma is baking right now at 1 a.m. Good for you. I would not function. I already have bags under my eyes and it's 10 a.m. I don't know. Alright friends, let's check out where we're at. With this bad boy. Let's see what this meringue is doing. It's very loose still, so we're going to keep going. And we are at... Ooh, we've cooled down quite a bit already. We've cooled down. 
to 34 Celsius already. So I'm gonna put this up to about an eight to see if I can get a little bit more stiffness to come, to come together, because it's not even on the top as well as the sides of my bowl. Yes, I see you, very committed. England, hello from England. All right. Got this food coloring all over. ovens be on. Ooh, Eni, are you baking with me? Yeah, you can do ovens on. This is no rest technically, but I like to rest at least 10 minutes. So whatever your oven does better, like preheating, um, you can turn it on now. And I do 300 and then I drop down to 270 for the for these air bake trays. Check it out. It's still really runny. I don't know if I did something wrong. Let's keep going. It's already cooled down quite a bit, so I'm like. Let's go. water, 150 grams sugar in your pot. And then we have 55 grams of egg whites here, and then 54 grams of egg whites that are gonna be added later. So they're divided into two, 110 altogether, or 109. And then we have 150 grams of confectioner sugar and 150 grams of almond flour. And if you want 1.5 grams to two grams of egg white powder. This should not be this runny. <laughs> My husband says to do it again. What do you guys think? Should I do it again or just add the egg whites and go? I don't know if I scaled wrong. We're at a very foamy spot. I've done it even before. Keep going, one person says. I feel like there's just not enough air in this and it's going to better be safe. Yeah, do it again. I'll use my bigger mixer. Bigger mixer. <laughs> just because the Sorry guys. There wasn't enough air in there to start. Let's do it. But I think you have to do some more. We don't need this. 
I need to crack eggs though. Oh, what should I, can I do? Crack eggs. Crack them? Do it over. I want to clap. I actually should do this quickly yeah. so people. Don't Sweetie. What? Isla. Isla. Over here. Let's do this fast, guys. The whole family affair might have not been the best choice. So, someone asks, can you give directions to people who are going to keep going? Yeah, so if you guys are continuing to go, once you get to like a medium peak, so it's going to be fairly full, um, your, your meringue is going to be nice and full and fluffy, and it's not going to be super stiff. And then you're going to add in your second addition of egg white powder. Just, I mean egg whites, directly into your meringue. Switch to your paddle first and then you're gonna add that and then your dries a little bit at a time. So like a, a spoonful at a time. Oh, well, guys, I'm... my sugar syrup too far and then it I would think it wouldn't make it too runny though so the opposite problem I also want to help well you and I feel like mom needs help too so right now you helping won't help the long run you and I said later you and Isla? Oh my goodness. Poop show when a man talks for now because you're making me really nervous right there okay thank you love Ugh. all right second pot this doesn't have a lip so I don't like using it but I don't want to have to stop and wait longer got another whisk and we're gonna do 38 grams of water in here 150 grams of sugar let's see will you keep me you like this crap shell right here <laughs> um, Will you keep me informed on if people have questions about their process? Yeah. Thank you. All right, 38.
Yeah, well, <laughs> Dora says, hi, Wes. Hi. Gail's here. Welcome to my my show here of messing up. Okay, mom. Well, we don't want to waste our ingredients, so let's try this a second time. If you guys have questions, if you're moving on to the next stage and mixing, you're just looking for a really nice ribbon, but fullness of your batter still. And we then um, piping. You just want that tip. So after you pipe, you want it to meld in to your your um, the piped shell, I guess. And you don't, if you have a tip left over, it's a little bit undermixed, but it shouldn't be too big of a problem. You don't want it to run so much after you pipe your shell, then it's overmixed. I'd rather undermix Italian method than over. All right. Um, I love stainless steel. I feel like stainless steel are way better pots to use than a dark coated one, but I don't have a small stainless steel one. Maybe there was some fat in my egg. That doesn't sound right. I'm gonna wash my whisk from the other one because this one is hitting the bottom of my bowl. Where are the kids? They went to do some artwork. you mind at least putting that back here then and standing back there a little bit? I just wanted her to share it. Just because I'm, I'm not yeah. focused on you right now and I would hate you to get burnt. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to try to dry this out really well yeah. and use this mix. Just... Right. So I'm just going to do the same thing. Let me know if you have questions. <laughs> You're in bio class right now? Okay. What's the best digital scale? Um, the best one? I don't know. I feel like this brand is very reliable. Um, es Escali? Escali? Escale. Eh? For G Life. For G yeah. Escali. Maybe Escali. What do you think? Yeah. Escali. Um, there's also a, like an O X O O X O. Oh, really? Um, that is a good brand too. It was that was my first home scale, and I loved it. It even had like a pull-out tab, but it was quite expensive. It was like fifty dollars, whereas this is about eighteen, I think. So depending on price point, I feel like 
you can use them. Um, um, you can use a variety and just make sure you're always checking the battery and um, put like a cube of butter where you know the grams of on top of your scale just to make sure it's right. Got some meringue left on here. Okay. All right, folks. Let's try it again. I think I must have had some type of fat in my yolks. I mean, in my whites. Hopefully I don't have it in my other powder, other whites. Should I push those out? This one? Which ones? The ones with the color. Maybe I'll do more of those too. Yes, Olivia, they are addicting to make. Honestly, it's like a fun surprise every single time you make them. Susan, hello, Suzanne. All right, so I'm gonna make sure to move my pot from around the burner this time so it doesn't get so hot in one area as well. Um, things that I didn't remember when I had the children by my side. Just want to melt that sugar up. What happens to your whites? What happens to them? Yes, I'm starting over. Oh. They just didn't fluff up. I think I must have had a fat yolk or something in my egg whites. So I was gonna keep going, but the smart people said, you should probably redo it. I winged it with the mixer. It looks <laughs> runny. Oh, Amy, I'm sorry I wasn't there with you. I, I bet it'll turn out good. Yes, a wet brush is great. Pastry brush, it's in, I already used it once, so I'm not, I can't use it again now, it's dirty down there. Okay, I'm starting to boil, so I'm gonna turn on the mixer again. Thank you. 
So if I go over here, it's a lot hotter than over here. You want to make sure this tip doesn't touch the bottom of your pot. So it's good to have the right size pot. We're at 118. This is when a lot of people do it. I go to 120. One nineteen, one twenty. Make sure it's one twenty everywhere. Okay. Turn off my heat. Turn my frothy white egg white up to high, and I'm gonna pour this back away. Oh, they sure are finicky, aren't they? 